Okay, we're gonna first we're gonna start with Moodle here. Getting started with EOSmith Moodle, we're gonna start by logging in. And um, the way I've set it up is that you guys uh, all will use your your name that you use for your EOSmith email. Uh, so mine would be W Green. This is just a test account I made here for myself. B Green, and then the uh, password is is just password for all of you right now. And then when you get in there, uh, we can show you how to change that. So here's the website, and here's what it'll look like for you. And then you're just going to find your name. Now the way we have this set up is we have it categorized into subjects or departments. And uh, then I've put down, I've put in a subcategory for each teacher who's signed up for the workshop. So I'm going to find my little test category here under science. And I'm just going to click on that. And this is what you should see. Now you won't see any courses yet. Uh, here I just put a little getting started with Moodle course up here. but. Um, you should see add a new course and if you don't see that you're gonna to have to talk to me because I haven't got your uh, permission set up correctly so um, but before we go to that I can uh, come down here to uh, profile settings so down here in the left hand side and let's go to uh, you can see there's a place for changing your password here if you want to click on that um, you can put in your current password which of course is password all lowercase and then you can set up your new new password and click Save Changes. I'm going to skip that step. Um, and then in your profile, if you click on that, you can change the email address that you'll be using for this site. Um, if you want to use your school email, that's fine. If you want it to send notifications to another email address, if you have a Gmail address, something like that, that you'd like it to send to, you can indicate that here. Um, you can put down a little description of yourself and your courses or something. You can even upload a little picture of yourself here, just like on Facebook, uh, your interests, whatever. Anything you want to put in here, uh, you can do that. And then just click Update when you're ready to, uh, when you're ready to, to finish that. Then let's click on this messaging thing, too. This is very important. If you click Messaging, Right now it's set up so that I will get uh, notifications for all of these different things uh, via email. And um, that's probably good. Uh, you might want to, you might find that you don't want to get no assignment notifications by email. This will give you notifications when students submit assignments. Um, so we could potentially uh, shut those off, you know, and put them on just pop-up notifications so that when I'm online I'll get a, a notification. Um, and you can play around with this. If you start getting deluged with notifications, you might want to come on here and, and change some things. Now that looks like probably like the way I want it. So I click Update Profile. And you can see here you can start some little blogs on this page. So let's go back to, I'm going to click on, uh, let's see, I'm going to click on Home, I guess. And here I am back to this front page click on my category, category with my name on it, and then I'm going to um, add a new course. And This is the first thing you're going to want to do after you update your profile and so forth. Make sure it's in the right category here. It should say your department slash and then your name. And let's say I want to make this um, a chemistry course. All right, and you can uh, ID number. I don't think this really matters. Um, you can put a course summary in here. Uh, what this is all about, maybe right out of the, the course description from the, the course catalog. All right, let's look at these settings below here. Um, you can have it set up according to chronology. So, like, it'll show the sections. Uh, it'll show each week as a different section on the course web page, and that's uh, that's what I've been using. But you, apparently, you can also use a different format here, topics or uh, I don't know what this is, social format. And then this will show you how many weeks to show at a time on a page. This is the course start date and you can change that. Uh, number of news items to show at a time and I'll show you how to, how to post news items. Uh, should students be able to see the grade book? This is set as yes. 
and maximum upload size go ahead and change this to the maximum that's allowed right now you don't want to run into problems with that if you end up having students submit videos or something like that uh, you'll want that to be pretty high and um, this is guest access now if you want somebody to be able to look at your page oh, it looks like I don't have it set up right now so that you can change that but I'll go in there and I'll, I'll change your permissions so that if you want to have guest access allowed you can do that um, right now it's apparently set so that so that teachers can't do that and I've never messed around with groups here you can take a look at that if you want um, and that looks like it don't worry about renaming roles or anything like that so I'm just gonna click Save Changes and there you go I've got another another course listed under my category so now if I click on that course you see there's nothing here yet but this is basically what my course page looks like now you can see up here chemistry all right and down the left hand side are, is the navigation panels um, and you can see here where it says settings this is where I can administer the course um, the first thing I'm going to be doing is turning editing on but um, you can edit the course settings um, and we'll go through all these things and then there's backup features and you can so you can back up your course you can save it to your computer um, and then you can restore it if you need to at some later date um, this is a handy feature down here switch role to you can switch your role to a student so that you see the page exactly as a student would see it and see the assignments as the students would see them uh, but take a look over here at the right um, we have forum capabilities so um, and we can post news here's where we add um, something to the forum so like I can click add a new topic and um, I can put a subject a message I like to post things in here like announcements about upcoming tests or assignments um, new resources that I found that I think might be helpful uh, that sort of thing if I put in say um, tests next week forget test next week now um, what we can do is um, once you've got students set up for this um, you can actually mail this to the students uh, right when you you post this thing so if I click post to forum um, this will be mailed out immediately to all uh, the students who are signed up for the course as long as they have their notifications set up and then you see it over here uh, at the top with latest news upcoming events this will show um, assignments that are due will, will actually be listed here as you set the assignments up all right and that does it for uh, kind of basic course creation I'm gonna make another little video that that kinda takes it from here